conventional HD recorder, tape or disc, uh, and the workflow continues in a conventional HD type of pattern on a regular 1920 1080x16x9 basis. The other and rather more interesting workflow, I suppose, is our data mode of working. And that's being demonstrated with this camera here. We're taking our raw data signal, what we call our ARRI raw signal, out from the camera using these two BNC cables here. And those are connected to, in this case, the S2 Take 2 recorder. Now this is an uncompressed disc recorder, uh, which has been specially uh, firmware adapted to understand and, and interpret the ARRI raw signal. So it's recording the raw data directly to disc, and at the same time giving us a monitor feed in HD. And in this case, because we're using an anamorphic lens on the camera, it's doing the anamorphic squeeze as well. So the image of the camera is, is in fact correctly oriented. So we've now got our raw data on the digital magazines of the S2 system. The typical workflow would then be that those would be um, copied for archiving purposes, for safety purposes, probably to data tape, LTO3 or 4 tape. And subsequently, there will be a, a, an offline copy made also from that data on that magazine with audio and time code, of course, in sync for the offline process. And then at some later stage, uh, once the uh, offline has been complete and there's an EDL, we would actually take that raw data and convert the raw data material from the disks into conventional files, most likely 2K DPX files, which can go into the DI suite. Well, they're the full resolution of the sensor, which is 2880 by 2160. It's a 4x3 Academy format uh, sensor, if you like. So. In, in sensor terms, it's 2.8K. We, we think that that makes a really nice alias-free 2K image, and that's the way we recommend using the data.